Today we're going to explore the letter E. The letter E. Can you think of any words that start with the letter E? Those are great ideas. Today, some of the words we're going to explore are egg, when we practice writing the letter E and write the word egg. We're also going to draw an egg. Then we're going to make a craft for the letter E. And we're going to make this lovely elephant that starts with the letter E. After I'm going to make a painting that starts with the letter E just for you where you can sit back and relax and watch me make some art. So if you're excited for today's episode, put your hands up, put your hands down, clap, and move that paintbrush all around and let's make some art. Let's make a letter E drawing and practice writing the letter E. Can you think of anything that starts with the letter E? Hmm. That's a tricky one, isn't it? Well, I know that elephant starts with the letter E. Oh, there's also eel and egg. Egg starts with the letter E. How about we draw an egg? Let's start with drawing the letter E. We're gonna begin with a capital letter E or an uppercase letter E. First, we're gonna draw a line down. And then we need three lines out. One, two, three. That's a capital or uppercase letter E. Then we need to do the lowercase letter E. So we're gonna draw a line down, or a line across, up, around, and down. So we go out, up, around, and curve back up. Let's spell the word egg. We're gonna start with our capital letter E. Egg, g, egg. So we have a G makes a g sound. But does this look right? Does this look like the word egg? No, it doesn't look right. There's actually another G at the end. Egg. There are two G's in the word egg. Egg. Now does it look right? Yes, it looks right. Egg starts with the letter E. E, egg. Let's draw an egg. Let's put a dot at the top and a dot at the bottom for where we're gonna have our egg. We're going to draw a line out, around, and down to the bottom. And then we're going to go to the other side. We're gonna go out, around, and connect, making the top more narrow than the bottom, which is wider. Narrow, wider, narrow, wider. On our egg, let's draw a face. Let's draw one circle on each side of the egg because faces are fun. Let's draw a circle in each eye. And I like to color in the dark of the eye, leaving that circle nice and white.
between the eyes, let's draw a line. Let's connect the line with a letter U. From one corner down to the bottom, we'll draw a curving line. And then we can color in the dark of the mouth, leaving just the tongue nice and white. And once you're done, you can color your egg any color you want. If you want to have just a white egg, you can use a blue to add some shading along the edge. So we can shade the bottom of our egg with our blue if you want to have a white egg. But eggs come in different colors. They also come in brown. Sometimes there are blue eggs. Sometimes a chicken has a blue egg. You can make up your own color for your egg. There we go. And once you're done, you're ready to put your egg in the fridge or make some scrambled eggs or you can make some pancakes or bread with an egg in it or you can do hard boiled or soft boiled eggs or maybe it's an Easter egg and once you're done with your egg you're ready to join me in making a craft. Hi my friends it's time for our letter E craft. Our letter E craft. We're going to make an elephant with our letter E craft. We're going to pick a lovely elephant color. Now, I don't have a gray piece of paper, so I'm going to use my imagination. I'm going to make a purple elephant, but maybe you have a better elephant color. Sometimes if we don't have the right piece of paper, we're just going to be creative artists or makers and pick something different. We don't get upset, we just grab something different, we use our imaginations and we get right to it. All right, take your piece of paper, we're gonna fold it in half, landscape orientation or like a hot dog. Ow. All right, we're gonna fold it in half, whoop. And then we're going to open the paper. You can see there's a lovely crease down the center and that's where we're going to cut because now we have a straight line to follow and it makes the paper the perfect size for our toilet paper roll. Now we're going to keep this other one piece of paper for the ears and the trunk of our elephant and this piece of paper we're going to wrap around our toilet paper roll. So we're going to hold our toilet paper roll up to the paper and we're either going to tape or glue it on. I like to use tape because it's quick. It's quicker. Okay, take it, attach it, boom. Now we're just going to roll it over, roll it over. You can do it like that. You can do it on your table. Roll, roll, roll. Tappy tappy and check it out. We got a lovely purple. Mine's purple. Maybe you have a blue elephant. I don't know. So pick whatever elephant color you like. I'm gonna seal off the back in that way. It stays purple. All right, we need two more things on the body. Our elephant needs ears. Our elephant needs some ears. Mine are not as big as an elephant ear. Elephants have big ears, so we gotta make some big elephant ears. Big elephant ears. All right, so we're gonna draw big, two big elephant ears on one side of our piece of paper, not in the middle. We need more space for the trunk, the trunk of our elephant. All right. Two big elephant ears, let's cut them out. Scissors pointing away from our body, away from our body. And we're going to cut, 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 cut. And I'm gonna use tape to attach my ears because tape is movable. Also, it's easier to tape them on. 
And then that way when I move my toilet paper roll around, the ears are going to flap like elephant ears. Have you ever seen elephant ears flap? They're so cute. Elephants are so smart and kind. And so we're gonna make a nice elephant craft to honor how kind elephants are. We got two elephant ears. Oops. We're going to, I'm going to tape it on. If you only have glue, use what you got. No worries. I'm gonna add a little tape to the back. There's one ear, you can see it's flapping. Only when you move your hand, see? Now we got one more ear to attach. Like that. And now my elephant's ears can flap when I move my hand. So cool, isn't it? I love it. All right, we need a trunk. Let's make an elephant trunk. Let's draw a nice big elephant trunk. There's a nice elephant trunk. It could be any kind of shape you want, something long. All right. We'll cut out the trunk. Perfect. And I'm going to attach it to the front of my face like that. My elephant has a trunk and it's flapping its ears. All right, we're missing something though. What's my elephant missing? Can you find it? It is the eyes. My elephant has no eyes. Let's draw some eyes on our elephants. to the ears, like that, oh, just like that, your elephant craft is done. It's that time where we make a painting together and you get to sit back, relax, and enjoy while I create a letter E painting. All right, do you remember what words start with the letter E? Well, we've done an egg, and we also did an elephant, and they start with the letter E. Can you think of any other words that start with the letter E? Hmm. Well, I can think of one. Let's draw an eel. An eel is an underwater fish. Let's draw a nice long-bodied eel. I'm gonna begin with a head and a mouth for my eel a lovely little eye. I'm going to draw a nice long eel body. And I'm going to draw the curve of the body. Now I'm also going to draw the body smaller the farther away it is to make it look like it's farther behind. I'm also going to do the details that are in the distance, like little fins. I'm going to make them smaller than fins closer to you, the viewer. So that way they appear to be farther away. I like to add texture by adding lines in my fins. I'm also gonna add a ridge down the spine. Maybe, maybe this eel has spots. 
just for some fun ideas. We can add our own imagination or ideas to our art. They don't always have to be real. That's what is called being creative, just making things up that are in our imagination. I've also given my eel some gills so it can breathe. Maybe there's some underwater plants around my eel. And some rocks on the ground. And some bubbles here and there as they float to the surface. Let's add some color to our art. I'm going to make a gray eel. bodies farther away. I'm going to let my paint color be a little bit lighter so that way it appears to be farther away by being lighter with all the different particles of nature and in the water in front of it. I'm going to come back and do the spots later when the paint has had a chance to dry. So I'm going to work on some background elements before we get there. decided to give my eel some pink fins, even though that maybe is not a realistic color. I'm just going to use my imagination and make it the way I want it. And that's the fun thing about art. And to finish it off, maybe we can add some blue wavy lines. background. For some water texture. Beautiful. And just like that, we have a lovely eel for the letter E.
Well, my friend, I hope that you enjoyed making some letter E art with me and learning about the letter E. I had fun making crafts, making a painting, and learning about the letter E and writing it just with you. I had so much fun and I hope you join me in our next episode. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for all our updates. If you're looking for more ideas for art lessons or if you're wanting some art lessons for kids online, visit artastickids.com and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now!